It's Tune Up Tuesday here on Rogers 22. Thanks for tuning back into the Gen Zen Show. I'm Jennifer Clark, your host. This is a psychic call in show offering you free but practical, intuitive advice for everyday living. Hope to put the soul back into solutions one call at a time. The number to call us tonight is 728 1001. We're here to offer you free readings, coaching, and we're going to be doing something special on today's show. So definitely tune in and give us a call. We'll give you some direct information. Um, we have a wonderful guest today. I'm so excited to have her on the show. Her name is Vanya, and uh, she is a celestial channel. Now, that's an interesting thing we're going to talk to her about because it's a very profound ability to connect to a higher realm and actually channel the language of light. Uh, she's also a healing practitioner and a wonderful uh, jewelry designer, and I'm a big fan of her jewelry. Uh, she's very well known in our community, and I'm so very happy to actually give her a platform for t on today's show. Vanya, uh, thank you so yeah. much for coming. Thank you so much, Jen. So Celestial Channel, first of all, great title. Thank you. I wish I came up with that for myself, <laughs> but I, I can't say that. Um, there is a difference yes. with the work you do. Yes. For people like me who know the various levels of psychic, medium, you know, channel, uh, yes. trans channel, you know, all of that. Yes. Um, the work you do, I know, is at an elevated um, state of being. Yes. I only know one other person who does it, okay. uh, Judy Satori, who yes. I know you know. Yes. Uh, she does come to Ottawa often, but she's from uh, New Zealand by way of New York. Right. So now, light language and celestial channel. Yes. Give us the dumbed down version of what that means to the person who may be tuning into you today, because you are going to demonstrate it. And yes, we're going to push the limits of community television today here. Um, what does it mean? What does it sound like? Why do you do it? And what benefit will it have for people? OK. Um, celestial channeling, thank you. Excellent questions. Celestial channeling is basically when I connect to a higher realm. Um, I connect to a level um, that is far exceeding the regular um, channels of other people. I, I actually connect to star beings, um, different universes, different galaxies, and um, light language is basically the language of communication of light and, and uh, sacred geometry. Um, so it's really what math would look like with sound with attached exactly. to it. Exactly. Yes. So as where well as you think people speak English or Aramaic right. or you know the ancient texts, right? It actually is even a higher language than what the human world is known as language. Correct? That's correct. That's yeah. correct. People may be able to pick up different words within it um, uh, and associate it to a language. It could sound like it was Tibetan or it can Egyptian, sound Egyptian. A lot of Egyptian. Yes. Ka ka ka. Yes. A lot of that word yes. comes out. Yes, um, and it may even sound Chinese, it may sound uh, native, um, it may sound a little Hawaiian. Because really, um, that's, that's the yes. point though, all yes. the ancient languages yes. phonetically yes. have the ancient sounds of creation, right? That's correct. Om, ma, um, ka, ka, like all the ahs, really. Yes, yes. Uh, and again, when you, s when you hear people speaking Algonquin, yes. you think they're speaking Tibetan. Yes. When you're speaking Tibetan, yes. you think they're thinking um, uh, the Vedic, you know, Ayurvedic. Exactly. So, so it's a very funny, it, if you understand the history of language that's and right. culture, that's right. there is a root language. There is. Absolutely. Um, so this would be languages that really, just to give a history, people in Atlantis would be connecting to. Yes. in Lemuria. Lemuria. Yes. So the ancient civilizations. Very ancient, yes. Higher evolved, way beyond yes. like ancient Rome. Yes. Ancient Egypt probably would have had it, I betcha. Um, I'm sure they did because they did have connections to the star realms at that right. time. So yes, Yeah, absolutely. so ancient Egypt would have had it. Perhaps Avalon, the mythical but yes. real place of Avalon, yes. would have had a form of it. Yes. Um, and as I said, in Ottawa or North America, I only know of one other person. So yes. again, I'm sure there's more than one other, yes. but I'm trying to say this is a very rare you know, type of skill. Okay. Let's just get to the misnomers and let's just get right to it. Okay. When people hear this, some will be scared and some will think this is like the stupidest thing I've ever heard. That's correct. And some will start to cry in joy and bliss. Mm -hmm. Why is that polarized reaction always happen when you kind of experience this, especially for the first time? Excellent question. Um, what I found is that people are trying to associate the words that they're hearing to a language they understand or know. Um, the point is when you are listening to the channeling, it is not to listen with your ears, it is to feel the energy of it. Mm -hmm. If you're concentrating on the words too much, you're missing out. Right. And Basically, it's, it's heart 
intelligence versus mind intelligence absolutely in this you use yeah. your heart to help you discern what is happening feel the energy behind it and know that it's done in the highest of intent it's done to help you on your journey this language actually is a frequency of color sacred geometry sound mm -hmm. creation mm -hmm. it is all building in, blocks it is it mm -hmm. is and it actually has um, been brought forward and is being brought forward more and more these days mm -hmm. to help people um, expand what is their current DNA structure right and their current understanding their current energy the current crystalline so the way forms. I describe it it's an energy transmission right okay yes so let's get to the second most loaded question yes. and again I just want to address my viewers I wouldn't have anybody on Gen Zen that I didn't personally vet out or I didn't think that you know um, was good enough to be on television one I cannot guarantee you know everyone's experience with every practitioner on the show everyone has their own karma and their own relationship with people um, and I don't know everyone on an intimate level but light language in general and what I have seen Vanya do uh, is of the highest light I know there's gonna be a lot of concern for some people who are religious or think, uh-oh, she's going into tongues, uh-oh, you know, she's kind of losing her stuff. Um, how do we address that? Because I, I don't have that fear when I'm around light language because right. my heart knows it's on the good side of weird right. as opposed to, uh-oh, I'm not, you know what I mean? People are like, oh, this is not something I want to hear about. Right. How do you know it's right for you? How do you know this is light, goodness speaking through you? How do you know you're not being taken over by something right. negative or evil? I mean, because people are yes. going to think that if they Absolutely. just sort of pass by this show Absolutely. Um, and not hear our prelim, you know, preliminary explanation. Excellent questions. When I first started doing this, I have to say I actually thought those things too. Yeah, right. It was it was a whole new world for me. I wasn't expecting to do it, and right. here I was doing this work. And I can tell you, number one, discernment mechanisms. Right. Which is what? Which Explain. is your heart. Um, your heart knows. Um, how to discern what you're actually hearing, how it makes you feel. Um, can you feel the energy pulsating through it? People have had moments of recognition, of understanding, of actually recognizing a language they know. It brings forward memory, activations. Mm -hmm. When something like that occurs for you, then you have to know that it is for your best, highest good. It is to help you understand and awaken yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's really now, important. Now, a lot of people think, a lot of people who I've introduced light language to mm -hmm. um, have said it makes me uncomfortable, so I okay. stopped. Okay. I know that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like, yes. when you're uncomfortable, the change is yes. happening. Now, yeah. there's uncomfortable and it's wrong. Right. Like, you're in the wrong party, get out. You're on right. the wrong road, you know, get out. Right. Um, but there's an uncomfortable, like, my ego is kicking in. Yes. And I don't want to change and yes. I'm scared about what's going to pop out. Yes how do you s coach them if they're uncomfortable because that's the middle road that's the people who like hmm I'm not sure but it made me feel uncomfortable so I stopped or I stopped listening or I didn't do it if what do you say to them then if you do if you do feel uncomfortable then you have the choice to not participate right and it's okay yeah. you come to it when you're ready mm -hmm. and or I don't at all if ever at, right. at all if, uh, yes yeah. exactly yeah. Um, I don't try and force this on anybody um, they'll just know you know when you're experiencing a moment of of truth that mm -hmm. you'll understand what's coming i'm with you so having said all that um again we're introducing sort of a new thing here on gen zen i'm, I'm so happy that uh, vanya is actually in our community and able to present this information out there i'm using my platform today stretching the limits a bit about our show we are going to do readings don't worry um and vanya is a very qualified psychic and and, and and holistic practitioner so she's just going to introduce us to light language through her, I'm excited myself because again, it's rare that I get to get this one-on-one. -on -one. Um, can you answer questions for the light language? Um, or is it just a transmission based on you know a, a global message? Will, uh, you able, you, will you be able to discern what's happening? Sometimes, uh, so what happens to me is I don't go into a trance. Right. Um, that's the other most important thing for the viewers. I don't separate my body and leave it. Right. My conscious mind moves over to the left. Right. So I still have my conscious brain, mm -hmm. you know, the ego mind saying, oh my gosh, what is going on here? Or, or saying, oh, this is amazing. It's coming in so clear. Right. Then I have my actual transitions that keep coming in through the center uh -huh. of me. And then I have a support team to the right of me. Nice. So um, while I'm doing this, I am completely focused and, and able to actually communicate to the person in front of me. I do receive. Okay. 
yeah. understanding. So, so what we got to just uh, uh, we got to go. Okay. So let's. Sorry. Uh, can you do this now? Okay. Is this uh, you're in the right state of mind to um, do this? Let me just give me give me two seconds. Yes. I just need to focus myself yeah. and open up the channel again. I ask my brothers and sisters of the light to bring forward a message for all of the audience listening tonight and for Jen Zen and the community crew here at Rogers Community Television. A message of light, a message of love, a message of support and kindness to assist them all on their own personal journeys towards the evolution of self and connection back to source. Isana, Isana e hot aida, ke chon dak che tse chem deche, ak che o tsai shan jit chun jitaka, se chon dak ti che tse, i cha hi che tonja, che tse gai chem daka, ik ak ota shim daka, nye chem nyak ye cherete, i karake go da chem o che. Sa che de kai chi ti ti ti, che ka a chene, e ka che a ha. Yi cha sa chim dek che, shao tsim dek cha yi tsa, yi cha yi tsa ya chim. Ik cho yi ta yi cha, yi tsa na che te, ik ara e e che, ik ara e e che a ha. Ich e da da, ich e da a, ich e da e, oh. In a ti a ke a che wacha nye che mo cha tse chimna yi cha se che te go e che nye che re te ye che o ti ke che ke che ye che me cha hai cha ti che mo chi hi sha se che mo che a che ya i cha i chin te go cha ye che nzi chi po cha i tse u cha re te te be je Yen je wa ti se kwa che ya. I cha, i cha, i cha, i cha. So, wow. So I felt, I'm used to this. Okay. So like, let's just be clear. I've seen this many times. I have friends who do this. To me, this is very normal in the world of abnormal. Yes. I thought you were speaking Czech, Slovak, you know, Russian, uh, Tibetan. S Algonquin. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, I can hear like a million languages in this. Yes. Do you know what you were saying as you were channeling the light language from a higher realm? It, would, it was a greeting. Yeah, basically. for sure you could Absolute tell. Absolute greeting. Right? Um, and a greeting and a thanks for being open. Mm. This is a great time of evolution and change mm -hmm. for humanity. Right. And they were basically saying, thank you for being open to receive us. Mm -hmm. We are here. We honor you. And we are grateful for the opportunity to work with you. And again, us being who, do you know who you are connecting to in this moment? Because it, it does change at different times. It does. Uh, this is actually a star realm. Um, I don't have a name to yeah. be able to yeah, provide just pe you. People from not from the planet Earth. Right. Higher not from beings from Earth. other other places. Absolutely. It's yeah. basically I like to call them our star brothers and sisters. Right. And they're called that by yes. the Algonquins and the First Nations yes. people, the star brothers, star nations. Right? Yes. Yes. And they're here to assist us. And all we have to do is ask. Um, we have free will. Yes. We have free will to make the choices that we make each and every day. That Love is it. what makes planet Earth one of the most amazing places to have soul evolution. Mm -hmm. And, and I'll be honest, Ottawa yes. is a huge star person uh, pool. Yes. I know about 20 people on the ground crew right now in government, high and low places, like are waiting and looking at the galactic like fabric, looking at economics, politics. There's a lot of people in different places. Yes. So Ottawa is a huge star seed space, if you will, like space yes, where so people grateful. sort of collect. Yes. So that's why people like you uh, are really sort of um, understood by a lot of, yes. um, let's say, the practitioners, um, yes. the clients. Um, your workshops are always busy. Yes. So again, I know this is very new to all the Gen Zen crew, so I really do appreciate you taking this time to listen. Um, I always don't know what they're saying either. I feel it from my heart and I feel, uh, you know, bliss or I feel happy. And again, I don't really need to know cognitively what's going on it's for me it's an energy transmission so I download it uh, in my energy field mm -hmm. and then I take that knowledge and it comes out when it needs, needs to, to you yes. know so it's not always about knowing 
something. Exactly. It's like talking to someone from another culture or language, you know, and, and you just get the vibe. You get what they're trying to do or say. Yes. Yeah. So thank you so much for that because I know thank it's you. really hard on live TV. I've never seen it done ever. So, mm -hmm. you know, this could be a real first on many levels. So Yay. thank you so much. <laughs> Again, we are going to go to um, the callers in a moment. I, do we have enough time? Can we take a caller right now? Yeah, so we're going to take one call just to get the ball rolling. So I believe we have Iris. Iris, are you on the phone, dear? Yes, I am. Hi, Iris. Thanks so much for waiting. How can we help you today? Um, I just want wondering if I'm going through the right path. I see a opportunity and I want to take it, but I don't know if it's going to take me in the right direction. Yeah, so I got the forgiveness card, which has nothing to do with your question. And so this is where I interpret the picture of my card. Um, because sometimes the cards really, oh, sorry, which way am I going? Um, don't always, um, do you see how she's sitting on a rock? Uh, I don't know if you can see it. So it's an angel sitting on a rock and it's a card of forgiveness. My sense is don't take that opportunity now. It's not the right time right now to do it. I, I'm feeling at least four to six, I want to say months or weeks. Like I want to say, if you do it now, I think you'll have a more struggle or more financial um, heaviness to bear. And I just think if you wait or wait for the next opportunity that's similar, it'll be easier. So I personally wouldn't jump right now. Um, that's the message I'm getting. What does your crystal card say about, you know, jump or jump? My crystal card actually talked about clearing. And um, therefore, I feel that whatever Iris is going through right now before she actually makes a choice, she needs she has to, to do, do homework flip. first. Yes. Right. Yes. So Iris, we're going to come back with your question. So don't, uh, don't hang up. We will keep you on hold during the break. We've got to go to break, unfortunately, live TV. Again, stay tuned with more here on Rogers Gen Zen. Welcome back to Gen Zen. It's Tune Up Tuesday on Rogers 22. This is the Psychic Call-In Show offering you free, practical, intuitive advice for everyday living. Hoping to put the soul back into solutions one call at a time. The number to call us is 728-1001. Our guest, Vanya, is a celestial channel. I mean, far out is far out when she's talking. And a uh, hypnosis therapist. So yes. how does hypnosis come into your work? Because you do a lot of cool healing work with people. I do. I Clearing do. healing. Clearing and healing, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm also certified practitioner. Of oh, Dolores Cannon. Yes. Yes, we yes. got to talk about that. We got. Yes. I don't want to hold Iris on too long, okay. but uh, hold that thought okay. because Dolores Cannon needs her own segment. Yes. So, <laughs> Iris, if we can take you back now, dear. Thanks for waiting. The forgiveness card came up and a clearing card came mm -hmm. up. So these are two things that, again, support my feeling that it's not yet time to jump into what you want to do. Do you have any loose ends to tie up? Is there anything else that you need to do to get yourself ready? Um, I, I guess what I'm saying is I'd take time to reflect on what you're trying to do and wait. That's the biggest message. So look, yeah. look, look backwards to clean up what is left. Okay, because it's a lot of, um, I find that in, within myself it's a lot of restraint. It's a lot of, I want to change and I want to move forward. 
I don't know, again, if it's the right time or if I'm picking the wrong time at this point. Well, change is always okay. Um, you have to love where you're at to change. Having said that, if you're talking about a big leap of faith that involves a financial or change of address or change of work, then no. You stay where you are, you heal yourself where you are, and then you get ready to leap. M my sense of the leap is more around August than okay. now time. I mean, it's not, it's not far away, it's just not right now. Okay. Do you understand? So, so read the book, you know, um, um, Excuse Me, Your Life is Waiting. We'll call that up. I believe we have that uh, as a key for you today. Uh, it's uh, by Lynn Grabhorn. Um, I, you know, I'm doing my angel night once a month in Ottawa. Um, you can listen to a meditation. Um, there's a lot of ways to sort of get yourself grounded and rooted to find out, you know, what is best path for me. My sense is it'd be the wrong time to make a big move right now. Okay. All right, so thanks for your question. Well, thank you. So how would, in Iris's case, as yes. an example of she wants to make a change, we both feel like there's more stuff to do. Yes. Um, what can people do on your end? Uh, you do work with crystals, you work I with do. your healing channeling. I do. So if people came to you and sat in front of you and you channeled that sort of very profound message, yep. would that have a healing uh, uh, response to them energetically? Absolutely, absolutely. Within uh, the first, it would take probably a week to process everything. You should always give yourself a week to process after, after a reading with you. Absolutely, right, right, yes, right. because it's always an opportunity a to review what happened. Because we also do some uh, some paperwork before and after right. to figure out what goals you might have had, uh -huh. where you felt like you needed to go, and what we should be clearing. Because right. whether we all acknowledge it or not, there are moments in our life where we do require further work on ourselves before letting we're ready. things go yes. i mean there's no coincidence yes. i got the forgiveness card and you yes. got the clearing, clearing. card right yes. no okay coincidence. so lola thank you so much for waiting dear how can we help you today oh hi jennifer hi I'm you're on the air yes hi yes. how are you good <laughs> i just had a question uh, last time we spoke uh, i was trying to rent out my apartment and it's been a while and i haven't heard anything yet yeah so my sense is it's a professional um um did they not come yet no. Okay, well, I, I see a professional person coming into your space. Um, mm -hmm. Again, because you've had a difficult time last time, my, my sense is, you know, make a list of all, just like the list of the right guy or the right girl, um, make sure that you're calling in the right type of person as a tenant. Uh, my sense is the universe is going to respond, though. So I want to say at least by May, you're going to have something, you know, done, if not earlier. I mean, I, I want to say April, Easter. You know, that's the time frame that I, I see. Uh, Vanya, for her tenant, when are they coming? Um, when is the apartment going to get rented? That's her question. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm just tuning in. Yeah. Um, I think it's also um, an aspect of, I actually pulled the knowing card. Oh. Right. Yes. I just pulled the knowing card. <laughs> yeah. So um, I think it's a sense of having trust within the process. I know it's something that you probably want to have immediately taken care of. But I definitely feel that uh, June, July would probably be the area and when that person will come along. Okay, so sh I get April, May, she gets June, July. What we're both saying though is trust in the process that yes. for the right tenant, you want someone that's gonna you know, rent it a year, two years, uh, possibly longer. I really do feel it's a professional person looking for you, waiting for the right fit that will sign a multi-year lease. So I do think the time that you're not getting rent, which I know is scary, you know, for a landlord, um, is worth the wait. So I, I, I don't want you to panic yet. Keep positive, okay. keep focused, and again, start calling in. When I talk about calling in the one, I usually refer it to re relationships, but calling in your right tenant, right? Because again, they're living with you, they're living at your space or however it is. So you definitely want someone with the right characteristics. So just keep focusing on what you want. Again, the idea is an inspiration card. It tells me it's coming. Um, the knowing card says, you know, trust and faith and that it is happening. Mm -hmm. So this mm -hmm. is a very positive reading. It's just not right yet. I, I, again, you want it yesterday. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry that the timing has been off. I think it is still coming though. All right, can Lola? I ask, uh, yeah. Can I ask um, just quickly, um, my boyfriend is just waiting to hear from uh, Revenue Canada regarding an audit. Okay. That's holding back you know, uh, funds from a sale of a business. Do you see that coming to an end? It's been a long while now. Yeah, um. so my sense is there's a lot of waiting time. Um, like I get the divine timing card for the question about the boyfriend. Um, my sense is, um, I'll be honest, it, I see a messy situation. I don't know what that means to the sale or to Rev Canada's 
file on him, and I'm not trying to make him the bad guy or make them the bad guy. I just think it's complicated, it's messy, and it's going to take a long time to unravel. So I don't see anything soon. What do you get, Vanya, for um, Rev Canada giving money back to boyfriend? Um, I'm actually al along the same terms with Jen here. Um, I definitely feel that it's not going to be right away. Um, and I'm actually backing her up on everything she said with regards to that. And it's, it's just being patient. Yeah, so you can, you, Lola, you could invoke divine justice, uh, goddess justice in, in okay. his behalf. You can call upon divine mother. But I also okay. feel like, to be frank, I mean, I don't want to make anyone the bad guy here. Again, everyone has a job to do. I think your boyfriend has stuff to do, and I think Rev Canada has stuff to do. So your right. boyfriend has to do things on his end to yeah. help the energy shift on their end. Do you understand? And yeah. so uh, both are at fault if there is a fault. Both have work to do. Um, so it's not just waiting for them. He isn't taking action in his own life in some way that is actually delaying his whole life. So okay. he has work to do to get, you know, the money from the man. <laughs> so good okay. luck with that. Thanks for your questions. All Be right. well. Talk to you soon. All right. Catherine, thanks so much for waiting. How can we help you today? Oh, hi, Jennifer. Hi. Um, I actually have two questions. Sure. Um, my first one is that I'm actually actively looking for a, a partner, male partner. Yeah. And I'm just wondering, do you see this happening for me? Yes. So my sense is... Uh, I get the signs card, if we can get a shot of that. It's a lovely card. Um, so I'm having trouble finding <laughs> my right sweet spot today. It's about uh, the woman's looking to the future. She's pointing sort of energy of, of stardust, which is magic. Um, it's all about being intuitive and like, if you feel guided to be somewhere, be somewhere. If there's an invitation that comes your way, Catherine, and you feel like, oh, I should go, go. Um, you may not understand really why you're there or at a workshop or a class. I think it's a social arena that you're meeting this person. It's not on the internet. It's it's in public, like human relationship, like it's in social interaction. Um, that would be nice. I want to, yeah. Like I'm not a fan of the internet. I mean, I know it can happen, but I just I'm not a fan. Um, and I think it's uh, through your interests. They're saying it's through her pursuit of her interests, her own life, her own pursuit of happiness that you meet this other person. What do you get, Vanya, for Catherine, man, and when? Um, I actually if feel... If and when. Yes. Yeah. And it's a yes on <laughs> yes, that? Yes, yes. Um, there's hope for us all. Let's just put it that way. Um, but really, technically, I got the creativity card. And so I find if you are actually being creative in your expression of joy, happiness, love, the expression of the person actually comes into your life faster than that. Yeah, so, so call up the book, Calling in the One. So Catherine, you if, you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're new to this show, this is a book I recommend on a weekly basis. It I is a book I tell about it. <laughs> yeah, read it. Wonderful. Yeah. Again. I just started. Yeah, yeah. so Wonderful. of the 10 people, I'm making a, a loose uh, allegory here, that read it, five will drop out because it's too hard. The five that finish it are all married or in committed relationships. So I'm going to really encourage you to know, first of all, this book will challenge you. It'll be hard to get through, but once you get through it, you will be the one you're waiting for, and the one will come your way. Okay. All right? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm challenging myself and making a lot of changes, so. Good. So, yes, the, the answer is yes. I just think you have to change yourself first before you meet that guy. Okay, that's what I think, too. Yeah, and your second question, quickly? Um, I'm, I'm thinking about trying to make a job change, and mm -hmm. I'm just wondering, is this a good time to do that? Or? No. No, um, no, right now, oh, interesting card. I'll show it to you. It's had nothing to do with your second question, but everything to do with your first question. It's oh. the soulmate card. So oh. again, nice confirmation that it's on its way. My sense is with the changes you're proposing on your you know, mind, body, spirit, emotions, finances, mm -hmm. uh, the career change would be bad right now. Look at maybe September, October, November, um, okay. not right now. Um, stay where you are, heal you know, like grow where you're planted, heal where you're at, evolve there, and then once that evolution happens on a, on a personal level, then look at professional development as well. And what do okay. you get, Vanya, for work, change work? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I was actually just feeling that um, whatever it is that's making you want to leave, you need to come to peace with that or change or shift what is happening to allow change to come. So um, you need to be able to be more clear with yourself, clear up what's going on, and then make a plan for the fall to, to come forward with a change at that time. 
Yeah, so so you're in like okay. the like you know the planting of the garden. You're like you're you got to pull up the weeds. You got to pull the rocks. You got to you know orchestrate landmark things out. You're not in reaping and sowing yet. Do you understand? Like you're in the planning stages. Yeah. No, and, and yeah, I, I do understand that. It's just yeah. If I if I start this now, it would probably take that long before anything would happen. Well, beautiful. Start mm -hmm. now, but don't like do anything other than plan now. All right, okay. Catherine. Thanks so much for yeah. your call. Thank you. Good luck. Lisa, thanks for waiting. How can we help you today? Oh, hi. Hi, you're on um, the air. I, I'm, um, I've got multiple sclerosis. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, dear. And I got it when I was 27. Okay. Now, now I'm 50. Oh, wow, okay. And I'm happily married. I have two great kids. Awesome. But I just wondering if I plateaued out. I'm not getting any worse, not getting any better. Y yeah, my sense is, again, uh, first of all, I'm not a doctor, so you know, you, you, you have to stick with the medical community on this. As an intuitive, my sense is that the body needs more rest and more time. Um, the, the energy root cause of your disease is age 4 and age 10. So I want you to reflect back on your childhood, uh, your family circumstances, your school, and understand that something took you out at the knees, um, like clipped you, like we, like when we when I used to play football, they'd clip us, like you know, like mm -hmm. soccer, they kind of mm -hmm. take you down. Mm -hmm. um, red flag, but um, it's the disease started then, and it sort of because it sort of sat there energetically, it allowed the physical to manifest. Uh, multiple sclerosis is all about roots, grounding, and standing up for yourself. And an energy level. So outside of doctors, outside of DNA, outside of physiological. Um, so there's a lot of things you can do on an energy level to help your state of being. Uh, the meditation card, again, tells me that you need to get rooted. Um, can you draw a card for her about a crystal? What crystal card she needs for? Aquamarine. And so what does aquamarine, Vanya, mean? Aquamarine. Relating to my her question and my... Aquamarine is actually a, a stone of water. It's also a stone for simplification. So... Um, whatever you're going through right now, you need to um, step back and away from it and kind of tone down all the uh, things that you're addressing and simplify. Um, work on one thing at a time and, and as Jen is suggesting, go back to the root of the issues um, at age four or six and try and address there, uh, whether it was something that was scarring your, your situation or a, an event that occurred. Go back and simplify and work on those things. And aquamarine is a calming and comforting stone. It is a stone that brings helps bring peace and cooling to areas where um, normally when you're in pain or you're experiencing stuff, our body expresses heat. So, so Lisa, what I'm going to suggest you do is Google energy medicine multiple sclerosis. Yes. Um, the internet is full of good and bad information. So yes. right away I tell you, you know, caution. Not all of it is good information. Having said that, there is a lot of great information about MS online, about meditations, grounding, uh, prayers, cord cutting that you can do that's very easy for you to sort of manage the inside out, um, that have had success at managing physical symptoms of diseases like MS. So um, Google that, research that. Again, it's a rooting issue. I got age four and 10. Vanya got age four and six, so please just think about what that means to you about your childhood. All right, dear, be well with that. Uh, we hope it helps. Will I, will I walk again? Um, yeah. I'm getting right now a no. I'm getting that right now you have to accept your state of being for now until you do some of the heavy lifting on your, on your younger years. Mm -hmm. So we will send you blessings and angels your way. Thank you so okay. much for your call. We do have to go to break. I'm so sorry. Again, stay tuned with more here on Gen Zen.
Can you tell them that? Hello? Oh, sorry. Um, so I'll give away Arthur, and then Vanya's going to do a short message. Another one. Welcome back to Gen Zen. It's Tune Up Tuesday here on Rogers 22. It's a psychic call in show offering you practical, intuitive advice for everyday living. We hope to put the soul back into solutions one call at a time. Uh, the number to call us is 728 1001. But we have get a giveaway from our guests. It's a wonderful, is it a one hour session? It's a 30 minute session. Right, a 30 minute yeah. session with Vanya. And you, you could do the light language, you could yes. do hypnotherapy, you could do Dolores Cannon's work, <laughs> you could do a lot of things. <laughs> a wonderful opportunity to get some good old help. The number to call for the win is 759-8622. We will have one to give away uh, throughout the whole repeat uh, week, so don't worry, uh, we'll hold the, um, the contest until the end of the week. So, uh, Vanya, yes. we are gonna be talking to you, we were talking to you about yes. um, the light language. Yes. Um, briefly, because Dolores Cannon's work, again, for those of us in the know, yes. know her work well. My mom had an opportunity to meet Dolores, yes. actually, before she died. Uh, famous channeler, past life regressionist, past life whatever, wonderkin. Yes. Um, I'm, I can't believe you trained with her and did her work. And you're the only one in Ottawa doing her Dolores Cannon work in Ottawa, is it not? Um, I think there are a few other people. Okay. I, I can't lie. I just okay. don't know who they are. So you're the only one I know. <laughs> okay, there you go. Let's put that way. So <laughs> Dolores Cannon's work, what did that teach you? What can you do for people? So Dolores Cannon is an amazing, well, was an amazing yes. uh, woman. She actually pioneered a method that allowed us, uh, her practitioners and herself, and she's written 19 books on it. Amazing books, by the Amazing way. Amazing yeah. books, fully detailing all of her experiences with her clients in the channeling sessions. And um, granted- What does she do? Past life channeling? She does, oh, so past life, she, she calls it past life regression. Right. Because that's a doorway. Right. But really, truly, when we're regressing somebody, you can yeah. go to the past life, you can go to future life, right. or you can be in current. Right. There's many different options. Or even in between. Yes. In between yes. spirit world yes. is the other one, yes. absolutely. Yes. Yes. And so with past life regression, what is wonderful about this process is we actually connect with a higher being, what Dolores called it the subconscious. And it's basically a connection to all of universe. It has all the knowledge. It knows everything about you, every life you've lived. It accesses your Akashic records. Mm -hmm. It has all the abilities to know who you are and what you're basically experiencing at this time. Now is this the I am presence or is this another aspect? You know, do you know what I mean? Is it yes. the higher self soul or it's, is it no? It's actually above that. Okay, it's above, above that. that. Okay. It, there is no real proper name for it. She sure. called it the subconscious yeah. because of the fact that it there's a group of beings behind it. Yes, okay. And so they usually speak in um, a, a term of like um, she or he or yes. they or right. we. Yes, right. Um, so when we connect with those, we're actually able to do full body physical scans to see what so is wrong. So health issues would be very interesting. Absolutely. Yeah. And we now are you in trance or are they in trance, the client? They are in. Oh, sweet. Yes. I oh. gotta try this. Yes. I yes, try they this. are. Yes. I, I get the light duty. I just get to yes. like guide them through. Right, right. But so it's a guided journey, but the yes. client is going through an experience. Exactly. Like hypnosis. It is does. hypnosis, yes. Right, okay. Yes. Awesome. Yes. It's too bad we don't have real people here. To, well, you can do it on me, I guess. <laughs> let's get to Miss Miriam first. Uh, Miriam, thanks so much for waiting, dear. How can we help you today? Yes, good evening, Jen. Hi. Uh, thank you for calling me. My question for you tonight is um, I'm planning to move to another country. Okay. And uh, I just want to know if it is the right time to do it. Well, I'm getting two months would be better. When are you talking about, like, when are you feeling, um, you know, when is timing-wise? What do you think timing-wise is for you? Er early summer. Yes. So I got two months, and my sense, if we get the support card, it's a very good sign, Miriam. It means that you're supported. You see all these angels and guides supporting Mother Earth and all the Divine Mothers. So it's a good time to go. May I ask what country you're going to? 
I'm going to El Salvador, Central America. Right, okay. My sense again is um, there may be some delays in paperwork, or I don't know what that means to you, but you'll get there. So I, I think it's a good time, yes. There may be some delays that are minor. Um, other than that, you'll get there fine and safe. Do you get anything about uh, Miriam El Salvador traveling, moving? I was actually going to ask, um, I'm getting this to ask, what was the purpose for you to move back? Why are you going there, Miriam? Well, uh, well I, always I always want it in the, it's my homeland. Okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Going home. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, my mother is one of the big motivators for right, me. Right, mom the is moment. there. See how right. it's a divine mother yes. supporting her. I okay. think that's interesting. That this card okay. is a divine mother card. It's it's okay. very interesting that that came up. So, are so Miriam, if your mother wasn't in El Salvador, would you want to go back yourself? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. So my, my again, my sense is you know flexibility. Um, and um, understand that you can change, right? Like life, I mean, it costs things, but you certainly can adapt your strategy uh, en route or uh, you're going, I feel, two, two months, not two years, not two weeks. So early summer makes sense. Yes. And you, you got a trigger on um, a caution to go? On the purpose of why. Right, just to get clear. Yes, get yeah. clear on the purpose of why, yes. Yeah, so just have some pre-paving or pre-planning, Miriam, on when you get there, what kind of daughter will you be? What kind of sister? What kind of person? You know, have a life yourself yes. outside of your mom. Yes. You know what I mean? Okay. Ma make yes. sure that you're you're not just a duty bound daughter. Yes. Like have a life. Okay. All sure. right, Miriam. Good okay, luck with thank that. You. Thanks for your call. Okay. Thank you so. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay. Bye. Chrissy, thanks for waiting, dear. How can we help you? Hi, Jen. Oh, hi, Chrissy. How are you? Hi. Great. Uh, that was really cool at the beginning. Yeah, so what did you feel, Chrissy? Because Chrissy's an intuitive. Yay. Yeah, I, actually, I got really hot. Oh, cool. Oh, awesome. Yeah, and actually a little anxious. Okay, and anxious about so what? My question is, I've been doing a lot of psychic medium in the last couple of months, mm -hmm. and I can't seem to get more sleep than two to three hours a night Yeah. for the last two months. And it's like I wake up, and I'm totally awakened by 4 o'clock. i got to have a thing of coffee because I can't get back to sleep. So I'm wondering... Um, yeah, so am don't I have like the coffee. Doing what I'm doing? Yeah, and as so well, I feel like there's uh, my guards, my, my guardians have an, a message for me. Okay, well, I got the emerging card. So my sense is as whatever is happening is, is coming into fruition. The lily is a sign of the spring, you know, time. And the emerging card is like you're loved and supported by your angels and guides, which you already know. But my sense is, you know, the evolution you're on may take, uh, you know, um, like Easter as a. Uh, archetypal you know time of rebirth um the sleep i would be um doing more meditation while you're uh, awake um you know divine dictation creative journaling don't have coffee coffee's just going to wire you up be more zen with it like try to be okay with being awake like don't fight it and well, don't that's what iron. I'm doing now i'm not fighting it i just stay up <laughs> yeah but stay up with you know positive like green tea and well that's got caffeine but like herbal tea caffeinated, you know, decaf stuff, and try to channel, uh, write, uh, blog, create, brainstorm, uh, visualize, dream, you know, all the things you know how to do. Mm -hmm. I would take that opportunity as work. I okay. think you're being worked on and you need to work the work. Uh, what do you get for uh, Miss Chrissy Vanya? Exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. Awesome. I got personal power in action. Oh, wow. And tiger's so, eye. So yes. what would that do for her? So basically, this is a major activation period. When you start working more and more, doing what you're supposed to be doing, you have a, um, they have a tendency of coming in and waking you up very early in the morning. And we've all going through these processes. And the more that you work, the earlier, you, the more times you're going to be woken up early. And it's just basically, as Jen said, a time to be more reflective and meditate. It's a time to start um, picking up new skill sets. It's allowing you to download different information in the earlier hours and to be more active. It's a natural process. And it will continue the more that you do things and then settle down. It comes in hills and valleys, peaks and valleys. You will be having a little bit more of this, up, I think, till about um, early summer. And then it's going to kind of sort of peak and then slow down a bit for you. But basically, personal power in action, meaning you are in your phase of learning more about yourself and, and skill sets coming forward. And this is a powerful time for you. 
enjoy it, but yes, stay off the caffeine. We do not need it when we're experiencing this kind of stuff. We have the natural energy and enthusiasm going through our veins. So just take this time to be more connected. Right, Christy? Oh. Calm Good luck yeah, with that. Thanks. Be well. And let us know how it goes. I will. I'm thanks sure so I'll hear much about for validating it. all that. Yeah. Thanks, Christy. Okay, Good luck. take care. Thanks, Lori, for waiting. Dear, how can we help you? Yeah, hi there. Hi. Uh, first time I managed to, to get through to you. Oh, well, thank you I so much for waiting. That. Yeah. Um, I, I tend to find meaning in things. Yes. And um, fairly recently, I was at two different Chinese restaurants. Oh, neat. And I managed to get the same fortune cookie ah. at each one. What did it say? And it said that I was, I had an important decision to make. Oh, wow. And do you? And I, I don't really feel that anything's going on particularly about that. And then I, last Saturday, I was looking out my kitchen window, mm -hmm. and it, a barred owl was there. <gasps> wow. I managed to see him for about three minutes, and I took... 50 pictures of him, and yeah. then I know the meaning of an owl when he makes his presence. Yeah. And so I'm just curious if... Um, what well, are you single what right now, Lori? Meaning, yeah. Are you single? Yes. Okay, so I get the new love card. Oh. So my sense is, okay, if I had to interpret, again, all very spiritual things. I love fortune cookies. I keep them for my dream book, by the way. Yeah. I actually crack, I keep cracking them until I get one Ooh, I like. love, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So now, the new love card, to me, it makes me feel, do you go forward or do you stay put? Meaning, the decision of being a single is a choice that you're living well, or do you go back into the grind of, you know, relationship and, and argument and change and, and transformation? Because soulmates are here to, um, people have a wrong idea about soulmates. They're not here to necessarily bliss and, and, and happiness and romance. It's to get into your face to take, you know, to make you heal, change, evolve. Mm -hmm. So it's not always fun, you know. Um, but I think it's a decision for you to get back in the game or not get back in the game. Okay. So that's how I interpret it. And obviously the card says get back in the game. It's coming. Uh, Vanya, what do you get about her decision and any guidance about the owl, um, which is very profound? Um, I, I actually got more of a spiritual pathway yes. um, a feeling for her. Um, for me, Owl is also about wisdom. And well, it's about Athena. Uh, yeah, exactly. Your friend Athena. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Athena. And um, she is a goddess of uh, many things, but wisdom is major. And uh, change is coming for you mm -hmm. in uh, the way that you process the world around you. You mm -hmm. mentioned you, s you look for messages in a lot of things, and nature gave you a message. Mm -hmm. And it will continue to do so. And I think it's also a time for you to... Um, expand on what your current practices are perhaps um, maybe pick up a new book in a new area of thought that you might be attracted to and use your discerning me mechanism when you want to choose a new book but i feel new spiritual growth for you so read this book the age of miracles we'll pull it up for you Lori. if you're new to the show uh, it's a book i always recommend um, to people starting especially at your age group yes. um, we're going to call it up the age of miracles by marianne williamson the, uh, age, uh, the age. Yeah, of it's on. It's on the screen right now. The Age oh. of Miracles by Marianne Williamson. Funny enough, Marianne Williamson herself is coming to Ottawa in April. Oh. Uh, and Wayne Dyer is coming in May. So check out I Am Genie Foundation. I'm actually going to go see myself, Marianne Williamson. Um, she's one of the best in the world. Uh, you know, she's been on Oprah. She's been at the U.S. Senate. She's trying to create this new yes. government and all this kind of stuff. So she's a very profound female speaker, but her books are amazing. Um, that book in particular, I think, would be helpful to you on the topic of love or on the topic of spiritual development. Either way, it's going to, I think, point you in the right direction. Okay. All right, dear. So be well and keep watching for those signs. I will. Because they are important. Thanks so much. Yeah, That's thanks for sharing that. Bye. Thank thanks. Patricia, thanks for waiting. How can we help you? Hi, I also had a strong reaction to the light language. Yes. What did you feel or how did you experience it? Uh, so feelings of being grateful, oh, good. Um, reassured, motivated, and just proactive. High five. I'm giving you a high five. Yeah. That's what that message did convey to people if they could catch it, right? Okay. Um, are you on the spiritual path yourself at all on some level? Yes. yes. Yeah. Well, there you go. That makes sense to us. Yes. So how, what's the, is there any question today, Patricia? I just, I'm open to whatever message either you or Vanya would have for me. I've been, yeah. I've, I've called in before, so I just Oh, wonderful. Okay. Um, so I get the retreat card, and I'm getting this as a literal card, and forgive my ratty-tatty cards. I've had these 
since they came out back when. Um, I think you need to find a spiritual retreat, like either a silent yoga or a silent meditation or, you know, a two day workshop that's at a cottage or like something really cool. Um, I think it's local. It could be anything from, you know, the Arm Prior Convent. Um, I forget what it's called, the Galilee Center to, you know, a friend's house. Like, it, you know, it doesn't have to be very uh, prog uh, pr uh, programmed in the sense of a formal retreat, but I do think you need to take time self for self. What do you get for Patricia Visvanya? I got the card of individualization. Oh, lovely. So, so, it's so it is it's about the self. Right. <laughs> so it's, it's a journey towards a path of understanding yourself a little bit better. Um, when we journey down the path of spirituality, we begin to understand that how everything is interconnected, nature, people, animals, um, we are all interconnected and it is the understanding and grasping and, and pulling that into ourselves that we realize we're all one. However, there is a path of your own. So um, you, have, you came down here with a plan, you came down here with a purpose. And right now it is to discover more about that self of yourself. Okay. So again, the life purpose, Patricia, have you ever found that book, A Live the Life You're Born to Live? We'll call that up for you. Did you ever get your hands on that at any local bookstore yet? Uh, I have one. I, I, have, yeah. I have a couple books, the Dan Millman book. Yeah, this is Dan Millman's book. So this is okay, the book, yeah. Live the yeah, Life. I have, that. I have this book, yeah. Yeah, so did you do your numbers? Did it make sense to you when you were yep. doing your I think own? I'm a 23.5. Yeah, cool. So I want you to go back and reread that Yes, section. I have this. I have this, yeah. Yeah, so I want you to go back and reread your section, okay, and see how, who in Ottawa, and there's so many practitioners now. This is amazing. Ottawa is like a hotbed of personal development on every level. Mm -hmm. Who can I work with, uh, based on my time, money, and budget, um, that can take me forward? So I just want you to keep that in mind. I'm actually getting my buddy, Laura Traplin. She's doing a big three-day retreat, um, like at a cottage or something like that. So uh, she's that uh, psychic medium. Um, she's doing intuitive development. So check out lauratraplin.com, Patricia. Yeah, she was on your show a couple yeah, weeks ago. Yeah, she was, she was. So check her out for her retreat. Okay. All right, thanks for your call. Thanks. We've got to okay. go to break. Stay tuned with more here on Zen Zen. It's Tune Up Tuesday here on Rogers 22. I'm Jennifer Clark, your host on this show called Gen Zen. It's a psychic call-in show offering you practical, intuitive advice for everyday living. We hope to put the soul back into solutions one call at a time. My guest today is Vanya, a celestial channel. She is offering a 30-minute uh, experience with her uh, for free for a lucky winner. Give us a call at 759-8622. We only do have one to give away throughout the week, so do give us a call. And you do have to come down to Rogers to get the um, prize. Again, uh, my angel night is coming up this month on Wednesday, March 18th. March 18th is a very important day. It's a couple of days before the uh, solar eclipse and the equinox. 
So there's a lot of positive energy out in the world. Um, we usually get about 100, well, 50 to 100 people, depends on the month. Um, we do it in Barhaven at the Prince of Wales Manor. It's only $10 at the door, open to the public. All layers and levels of kinds of people show up. Vanya sometimes shows up I as do. a guest. I do. Um, and again, it's a great opportunity to connect. We'll, we'll really be pushing in this new energy of the new, um, you know, the solar eclipse and the equinox and taking people over a tipping point. Again, Wednesday, March 18th, hope to see you there. We see a lot of new people every month because of the show, so that's awesome that you guys come out and meet me in person. Um, Vanya is a celestial channel. She is a Dolores Cannon a past life regressionist and a qualified hypnotherapist in our community. She has been talking about um, light language. She has done a channeling. She's doing readings for us along with myself. We're gonna switch back to the light language because again, we have such a unique opportunity with yes. you, you. you know, here uh, on a public forum uh, in a space that's sacred and safe. Yes. Um, can you um, get them back? Yes, <laughs> can always. Can they come back? Again, sure. they, in this case, yes. is, uh, we call them star seeds, yes. um, the cosmic, all um, people from other planets, Yes. other evolutions yes um, and just to be clear on a spiritual level um, there's a general agreement depend across all the yes. philosophies yes that they are higher than us like we're one of the lowest evolved planets because yes. we still have war and yes. you know poverty and we still eat meat yes. and do all this kind of stuff yes they don't yes so they are at a consciousness level that's higher so yes. their communication levels are telepathic versus that's talking you know that's direct, correct. right? That's correct. And again, if honestly, if you do this, I've been around this world most of my life. Um, the military knows about this. This is not just sci-fi stuff. No, this is not. like if you actually check with military sources. Um, the uh, Paul Helliard, uh, the former Defu Maker Defense Minister, actually came out and said, "Yes, aliens exist. Yes. They look like us." They look like lots of things. They've been here. The Canadian government is known. The U.S. government is known. The Russian government is known. Yes. So it's not really a big secret to no. those of us who read beyond, you know, what we're told. The daily newspaper. Uh, yes. Right. So again, we're talking about these aspects, these beings. Yes. Um, people call them cosmic angels. Yes. Because that's how they relate to them. Yes. They come through you as yes. star people yes. to offer messages, uh, yes. information. Uh, yes. and hope right and yes. so your messages now are global yes on today's show Yay. when you do readings for people individually though yes. it's personalized correct it's totally personalized to exactly whatever they're experiencing at that right. time yes. wonderful okay yes. so I'm gonna let you just take a moment to, to tune back in to the global all and connect to our friends above and the motherships and don't laugh because there are motherships Brothers and sisters, this will be coming in English for you at this time. It was mentioned by the host that we are above the earth in starships. Yes, there are many motherships aboard and around the planet earth at this time. It is not a reason to fear. It is not something to be afraid of. It is something that we are here. We are just studying and experiencing life as you live. We are supportive in everything that you do. We come with light, from light, with love in our hearts. We're here in service to humanity and to help those that are experiencing adjustments at this time. Call upon us when you need assistance. Call upon us as we are your brethren, your brothers, your sisters. Yes, we may be different in physical being form. However, we are not different in heart, we all come from the same place. With light and love, we greet you, we honor you, and we say, Aho. Excuse the tapping. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> so, so again, just to clarify, some of this physical, uh, I'm talking more to the guests now, the yeah. viewers, um, normal. Yes. When you see a trans channeler, they'll start to kind of have a physical reaction to energy moving through them. Yes. It looks like pain sometimes, right? Because sometimes it's like they're trying to get into dense physical yeah. form, carbon-based, right. when they're not themselves. Absolutely. So that can hurt you. Yes. Um, and um, one of the best books, you know, again, there's a lot of star seeds in Ottawa. They're from all political persuasions, economic and educational levels. 
um, is the book Earth the Keys to Living Library yes. by Barbara Marciniak. Yes. 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 So, you know, for people who really want to know more about this, that one book really actually summarizes Earth history in so many ways and an easy read. You don't need to know anything to kind of have more information presented to you. Yes. So how do you feel right now when that happens to you? I have a lot of energy coursing through my physical yeah. body. Yeah, it feels good or bad? It doesn't or feel like anything like right. that. It just causes involuntary movement. Right, Because the it is Yes, yes, and, and, and uh, I mean, I used to have a shaky voice and sound a lot higher pitched, but mm -hmm. I've been able to work with that. Um, it's just very strong energies that um, my body being living on the earth is not used to processing. Yeah, it's too much. It's a, you're, you're a 60 watt amp, right? And they're 120, and they're yes. coming in, and you get a zap. Yes. And but that's yes. what Kundalini experiences are. You, yes. you get people who have these awakenings. Yes. And they end up in the hospital because they're so out of themselves, right? They can't put Humpty Dumpty back together. Right. So th that happens on many traditions. It's not just channeling. Right. You know, there's other ways of getting that experience. Aha as well. Absolutely. Now, aho, is that not a Hawaiian term or an Aboriginal term? I recognize that term. To be honest with aho. you? Aho. I got to gotta Google that. I got to find. I if anyone knows where that <laughs> language root came from, I've heard that before. Again, maybe from our friends, but yes. I'm pretty sure that it's in the earth language somewhere yes in one of the other traditions aho like i want to say that's aboriginal hawaiian yes again the ancient that the ancient languages that's where they came from yes. that's you know if, if you study with a medicine person um they will talk about the star brothers and star sisters yes right um so yes. this is not something new uh, no. it's not new age it's no. very ancient millions of years old and billions yeah i mean so there's proof of, of life before a lot of things. Like uh, there's pyramids in the Bosnia region. Right. That I love those pyramids. Yeah. And the dolmens. Yeah. yeah. They've been carbon dated 24,000 years yeah, ago, right. which is well before the Egyptian pyramids. Right. And therefore, there is planet Earth, Earth has, has been inhabited been. before. Yeah. We've done it before. If anybody's familiar with the, the Atlantean or Lemurian civilizations, there, that is, there is truth to this, um, and even that's not the first. No, like definitely They were not. like midstream, right? Yes. Like that was yes. just as it far as back as our times. history. Plato can take us back, you right? Know? Done several times, several times over. Yeah, and and there's much to be experienced, and there's not anything to really fear. Um, they are working with us for our best, highest good, always. Just like the angels are, or our spirit yes. guides, or our loved Absolutely. ones. Absolutely. So our mythologies right now, and the most traditional psychic t is like, you know, you, you have a soul, you have angels, you have guides, loved ones. Yes. You just extend that yes. to star people, you know, the elementals, the plants, the minerals, Absolutely. the animal yeah. kingdoms, and again, further out. So yes. it's just like concentric circles that sort of evolve out yes. once you get it. Now, yes. if you don't get it, you know, you'll never get it. No. You know, you, you'll have to wait for CNN to, to film, you know, a formation over the, you know, you know the uh, White House, which, by the way, happened. It already happened. Yeah. It already happened. <laughs> Go Google that, by the way. Yeah. Um, I find that funny. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and that's actually where all the sci-fi movies derive from, like yeah. George Lucas, yeah. uh, Battlestar Galactica, Star Wars, Star Absolutely. Trek. It's our Earth history. Absolutely. So again, the book, Earth the Keys Living Library, awesome book to check out if you're interested. And if you're not, thank you for letting me take up your time today to share with people who are. So Yvonne, we'll kick back to you and you just take a minute, I'll, I'll kick in. <laughs> Yvonne, um, you're on the air, dear. How can we help you today? Well, uh, just for, with a little bit of background, um, I'm retired, mm -hmm. uh, so I'm in my 60s. Uh, I'm a widow and I live alone and moved to Ottawa about five years ago. And my thought was that I was, uh, going to set up a practice. I, I have Reiki and oh, nice. therapy and reflexology. Oh, good. But I don't seem to have gotten anywhere with it. And part of me sa is wondering if it's really not something I should be doing, if I should just give up on the idea and just knit and read or <laughs> what I should be yeah, doing. Yeah, so right away, Yvonne, you're, you're um, yeah, sorry, did you ever lose a son or, or a brother? There's a younger male around you. Now, I know you said husband and I'm not yes. tracking him. But did you lose a son, husband, or child? Husband. Yes, yeah, sorry. I meant, sorry, brother or son. Pardon me. No. It's a no. younger person. So there's a young man around you. I'm, unless you. Unless your husband was really young when he died, it's not he him. Was. He was. It, he was? Yes. Oh, how old was he when he died? Well, he was uh, 60. I mean, Yeah, young no, no. Innocent. I'm talking, this is like a teenager, 20-year-old. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, no. no. So there's somebody some kind of familial relation to you, uh, like talking to me. So let's just go with that. We have a friendly mm -hmm. <laughs> helper. Um, my sense is that uh, you haven't met the right community yet. 
So the surrender and release card comes up. So I do feel that you're a teacher healer, Yvonne, at the soul level. Have you ever done your numbers in the Dan Millman book, Live the Life You're Born to Live? No. Yeah, so we're going to call that one up for you. It's a book, again, um, I really talk about a lot, Live the Life You're Born to Live mm -hmm. by Dan Millman. It's based on numbers. And once you do your birth date, um, you can take a calculator, a pen and paper uh, to the library or bookshop, and Yvonne, and there's the book there, Live the Life You're Born to Live. It will really tell you about what your archetype was born to do. I've never seen it being wrong, so okay. I always recommend it to people to review. Having said that, you're not in the right social group right now. So I need you to connect to um, Ladies Who Lunch, Ottawa Soul Sisters, We Who Connect, Women With Heart. Um, these are more the spiritual, positive, feel good networking groups in Ottawa. And okay. I want you to start connecting with like-minded sisters, men and women, brothers, like, you know, spiritually minded or aligned, because my sense is then you're gonna see people you're gonna start to help. You'll invite people over for tea, Yvonne, then you're going to put them on the table. Then they're going to okay. be a client. It's going to be a very natural um, you know, process for you. The other book they want you to read is The Age of Miracles. It's the other book we talked about tonight by Marianne Williamson. Mm -hmm. It's because you're right in that age group. You're going to be plucked and your blossom and your bloom is going to start now. I'm sorry it took so long to get there, but sometimes we all mature in a different way. Mm -hmm. uh, and so this is your time to shine. I want you to connect socially. Uh, through Facebook or community events, uh, read this book, check out your numbers on the other book. Uh, Vanya, can you kick in at all right now or no? Absolutely. Yeah. What do you think for Miss Yvonne, her Reiki and her... Do not give up on it. It is a gateway to expressing further development in your area. Reiki is a wonderful beginning point for everyone um, to open up pathways to engage in higher level energetic activities. Um, learn, practice, and express your interests. Let people know it's a beginning stage for everyone. Reiki is wonderful. Start with that and it will expand your horizons. And yes, I agree. Further connections with people, like-minded individuals on the same path, definitely helpful. And, and my sense is that art will kick in for you, Yvonne, at some point. So taking some sort of spiritual art class, Reiki art, healing art, art therapy, would be part of that future work as well. Okay. All right, so be well with that. Good luck, and let us Thank know how it goes. Thank you very much. We need Thank people you. like you out there, so do <laughs> not right. give up. Thank you very much. Thanks, Yvonne, for calling. Bye-bye. Jane, thanks for waiting, dear. How can we help you today? Um, I'm wondering, uh, do you see a change in my financial picture? Um, they're showing me not until uh, no. Um, for two to three years, oh, do we have Jane? Do we lose her? Okay, so sorry, Jane, if you're, if you're watching the TV and catching uh, the TV, the question is financial future changing? No, not for another two to three years. Um, it will, but my sense is that you need to listen and pay attention to what's happening in front of you now. There's something taking your attention today that needs to be worked out. What do you get for, um, that's a loaded question because it's difficult to answer. It is, and I actually am going to say, I, I actually agree with you. When I asked, I got the immediate, no, not right now. Status quo, and I think the status quo is okay. All right, Jane, uh, all right, Kelly, thanks for your call. Uh, sorry, thanks for waiting. You're on the air today, how can we help? Uh, hi. Hi, Kelly, are you there? Yes. You could tell me where my love life is going. Okay, are you in one? Uh, no. Yeah. So the forgiveness card comes up around um, the question of love. It's an angel sitting uh, on a uh, rock. Now, in this case, the question is about you're not going anywhere. So understand, it doesn't mean you're not, you can't, but it means right now you're not. And again, you need to take time to do some self-healing, reflect in the backwards of your past, like look behind you instead of looking forward. So is there anything that um, is outstanding? Anybody, again, we always talk about cord cutting, forgiveness, letting go of the past, healing your family of origin, healing the other partners that you've had. My sense is there's some need to, for you to go backwards before you can go forwards. So yes, there will be something, or excuse me, someone, pardon me, um, but around six to eight months, only if you do some inner work. What do you get for Kelly? Because we got to go to break quickly. Totally, totally agree with you. Absolutely. I know there's someone coming at yes, I was picking up there are some emotional things that need to be dealt with absolutely um, look for support on your journey you're not by yourself when you're right and choices. read the book calling in the one kelly yeah all right oh, yeah. definitely get your hands on that we've got to go to break thanks for your call again stay tuned with more here on gen zen
Welcome back to Gen Zen. It's Tuesday. Uh, well, it's Tuesday. It's Tune Up Tuesday. Can you tell? It's the end of the show. Um, I'm Jennifer Clark, your host, back in with my guest, Vanya, a celestial channel. She's given away a 30 minute uh, session experience, uh, whether it's past life regression, um, reading, channeling, all the great stuff. Definitely give us a call at 759 8622 if you want to win a copy of uh, or get a, a wonderful experience with her. Again, we are taking calls. I don't know if we can get to everyone today because we're at the end of our show, but the number to call is 728-1001. We do want to say, though, if everyone's waiting and we can't get to you, please call in next week. We're here every week, every Tuesday from 730 to 9. Call in early, you know, to avoid the wait. We'll get right back to the phones. Is that okay? Yes, yes. Uh, Ray, thanks for waiting. How can we help you today? Okay. How are you doing, Jen? Good, Ray. How are you? Good. Um, since, uh, I guess, childhood, I've uh, basically sent things, seen things. Okay. They're often dark. Okay. Okay. Um, anything that you would recommend well, for dark me to have a better idea of what to do? With yeah. Well, dark doesn't always mean bad. So no, that's the I, first thing. I get thing. that. I get that. Yeah. Dark can mean that mm -hmm. you're like you're you're tuning in to something and your your lens hasn't necessarily yeah. you know gotten the full picture. So that's mm -hmm. the first thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we always do the test. The love test is the discernment test. Yeah. So if you feel a loving presence, so you send that energy love. So you either say the words, I love you, or you send pink fire healing energy out of your chest. Okay. If you feel it comes back reciprocated, then you can communicate with that presence. Right. If you do not get the word, I love you back or something distorted, then you say leave now in a, in a firm tone. Oh, um, yeah, but it's, it's more in terms of, um, let's use as an example. Somebody gets uh, badly hurt. Yes. You're not there, but y you sense it and you see it. Oh, that they're hurt? Right. So then you would, um, if you have healing skills, you could send long distance energy. If you don't have healing skills, you and direct. I'm thinking in terms of basically uh, they're either assaulted or murdered. Okay, then, okay, so then you got to call in the bigger guns, which we say in my mythology, it's Archangel Michael. Mm -hmm. um, you can call in Divine Mother and Archangel Michael to escort this soul um, where they need to go. So you send them angels. You pray for them. You, you, you send them light. You send them blessings. You send in. It's like you call 911, and psychic call 911 is like angels, right? Like you send in the okay. helpers okay. to that presence that needs to be escorted out. I would never tell someone who's not trained to do this without some kind of training. So I just said you pray for that uh, person that you're tuning into and send them along the path and the right people will show up. That actually happened to me at 9-11. That happened to me at Sandy Hook um, where I felt a massive you know, loss and a lot of people who were intuitive were doing clearing work, constantly sending people through to the light. Um, there was a lot of lost souls from all different walks of life. So it can happen to random people. Um, you obviously have a skill set and an intuition that you probably should develop, Ray. Okay, uh, um, you know, yeah, what should I do? Yeah, so read a book. There's, uh, you know, Reaching Heaven, um, Talking to Heaven by James Monprog. There's the, the book Heaven is Real, uh, that new, you know, movie yeah, that came out I've with Lovely. Um, there's, um, specific to your question, though, you would Google how to help someone cross over. Uh, but again, my caution is, as a trainer and a teacher, I would just tell you to pray for that person and that soul and call in the 911. Okay. Yeah, you know, call in the qualified. What yes. suggestions do you have for Ray about um, deceased persons that he doesn't necessarily know? I would, uh, of course, use your discernment mechanism, tuning in to how you're feeling with them. But yes, always ask for Archangel Michael. Most of us are not skilled people when it comes to dealing with helping people cross over. And you would like to probably do it the best p possible way. Archangel Michael is the best possible way person to bring, or angel, sorry, yes. to bring forward um, a, a transition for this person. And also, like the topic you're talking about is being a spiritual medium. Yes. You can Google how to be a spiritual medium. The books I'm referring you though are spiritual mediums. You know, and you can you can check out um, uh, spiritual medium um, healing circles. There's the um, spiritual centers that run their services on Sunday. Um, I forget the Ottawa Spiritual Pathways. There's one. There's the Ottawa. Um, there's two churches that are sort of the um, holistic side of me mediumship. They do services, um, and so you can talk to their uh, you know facilitators. 
right now I'm getting a sense that on your own, you need to just root yourself, ground yourself, send love, send Michael, pretend it's like the police and the firefighters going in to escort that person where they need to go. Until you get more training, it's not your problem. It's your problem to call help. Do you yeah. understand? Yeah. Yeah. And my sense is that um, one of your grandfathers is with you. So do you have a, a fond grandfather that uh, you remember? To tell you the truth, no. Okay. So one of the grandfathers is with you. Um, I, know, I, I have a feeling I know which one. Is. Okay. So just know that his presence is also with you as these events are happening. No, it's very common in a very unusual way. Um, so, so research being coming a spiritual medium, research on the internet, helping someone cross over, uh, Archangel Michael, uh, you just simply Michael come, like it's a simple Michael help, that's as simple as it gets, and visualize that soul, that presence being escorted home or to the help they need. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So good luck with that, Ray. Thanks for your call. We've got to move along today, Thank you. but thanks for calling in. Thank you. Please call back. Love to hear the guys. Love the men. Uh, Anna, thanks. For, Anna Banana, thanks for waiting. How can we help you? Hi. Hi, Hi Jen. Um, I was just wondering, uh, because it's been difficult, uh, I haven't been, been able to go back to work uh, okay. because since my surgery. Okay. Financially, it's been a little hard. And I was just wondering if you see, like I own my own house. Do you see me selling my house and renting instead? But some people have suggested that, but... I find it right now, I, I really like it here, and I'd rather not. Yeah, I think that's really hard. Yeah, so it depends on what hard is. Hard, are you feeding, like, your, if you have food in your mouth? That's hard. So, like, if right now it's just money is tight, my sense is either look at a line of credit, a second mortgage, but don't sell the house. My sense is get through this period of time. It's a short period, even though it's a long time. <laughs> like, do you understand? It's not like okay. you're, you're disabled. I just feel like you're out for a bit. So okay. I just think selling your asset uh, would be stupid right now. Okay. Yeah, hold it. Hold it and find another way to get a line of credit or an equity or something through the house that can offer you some kind of recompense that can give you a bridge financing until you get better. What's the doctor say? Like, how long are you out for? Well, it's very vague saying, you know, you might not be able to go back to the work he used to do because I'm on my feet all the time. Yeah, but that's um, long-term disability. That's like an insurance company kicking in. I like So don't worry about that. I, I just feel that you could work somehow, somewhere, mm -hmm. uh, by like October. So like I just, oh. you, you need to get some money to get to that place or do the paperwork for your long-term disability. Um, okay. You know, and that it takes that long do you understand so i think it's okay. we, we call it bridge financing so you know just look around your other assets including your house but i wouldn't sell it right now okay yeah okay. again you have to manage your own life remember i'm not a financial advisor i'm not a bank manager you know your life you no, have to manage no, it the no. best you can yeah. um do you have anything to offer anna unfortunately yeah. no okay anna great yeah. thanks for your call dear be well we got to move along talk to you next show Alain, thanks so, thanks so much for waiting. How can we help you today? Yes, hi. I really like your program. Oh, thank and, you, Alain. And I use, uh, I hear last time about Michael. Yes. And I start to practice myself. And yes. I see a lot of results yes. positive. And I'm really appreciated. Oh, good. My question, what future holds for me? Yeah, so can you be more specific? There's a, that's a very big time frame, right? Yeah, oh, okay. Um, my children grown up, everybody has family, I'm alone. I'm not lonely because yes. I have a lot of hobby, I like a lot do a lot of stuff, I have friends, but uh, I have investment, few property. I don't know myself if I keep it or I sell. And just general what future holds for me in few years. Okay, so my sense is that you're in a, a very preferred state of being a single woman, uh, being able to you know, look at her life, staying stable and able, but following the rainbow. So it's all about study. So they're asking you to take a course or a class. Many lifetimes, Alain, you've, you've worked with food, you've worked with natural medicine, you've worked with natural therapies, crystals, and uh, art. Um, exactly, so, exactly. Yeah, so yes, I would, yes. I would, I would learn now. I would take courses for fun, 
that now that you have a financial stability that you can sort of play, I would look at those courses to develop yourself spiritually open like a rose who blooms fully. Again, the book I want to call up here is the, the Age of Miracles. It's a big day for Marianne yes, Williamson. Yes. And again, I want to remind people that she is coming to Canada. In fact, coming to Ottawa at the Dominion Chalmers Church in April, April 30th. Um, this is a book I want you to read, though, Ellen, because my sense is that your life is trying to evolve spiritually on, on passion, on purpose, yes. with service to others. So you're going to be helping people through the work you're oh, doing. Oh, you're absolutely right. <laughs> yeah. So anything, Vanya, for Helen? That's exactly what I was okay, getting. Ditto. <laughs> ditto. All right, Helen. Again, we got to keep going, dear. Uh, be well with that. Uh, we hope to see you at my angel night at some point. Thank you very much. Thank you very All right. much, girls. Thank you. Do your thing, sister. Decca, thanks for waiting. How can we help you today? Hi. Hi. Um, um, I would like to travel uh, this summer. Okay. Where would you like to go? Um, somewhere, uh, I'm not, <laughs> uh, East Africa. I'm going to the East Africa. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. And I'm wondering if it's, uh, it's a good trip for me. It's a good decision to go there. Well, my sense that if you can financially afford it, yes, it'll be good when you get there, but that it may be difficult for you financially. So do you have the money now for it? Yes, I do. Okay. And do you have the money after you come back? Like, is there a cushion before and after the trip? Yes. Okay. So I'm not sure what it's about. Then it makes me feel you're going to spend a lot of money, um, whether it's on family there or <laughs> opportunities there. I'm not saying this is a bad thing. I'm just asking you to be cautious and plan that there's money before and after the trip that you don't come back broke and bankrupt. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Um, um, my sense is... Um, Late April, there may be some kind of seat sale or opportunity to go that may be more for for Twitters for you. Um, Deca and in Africa, what do you get? Because we got to go soon. Our show's almost um, ending. I think it's actually more of a trip of expression of the inside of what she wants to get out when she goes there. Right. Um, the youthfulness, the recapturing of 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 that time frame of a life that you had there. So I think it would be a fun trip for sure, and that's why I think that Jen was mentioning the financial aspects of it. Because sometimes when we have fun, we spend a lot of money. Yeah, or you're investing or you're giving people money that you love. Like, I don't know if you're, the, you're loaning people money or you're going to create micro loans for them. I just see you somehow being involved with money transactions a lot when you're there. Do you do business there for any way? No, I'm just going uh, to visit uh, family, my family. Yeah, I don't know. I, just be prepared that they might ask you for money. I, and that's <laughs> not a bad thing. I, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying... Yes, it looks good. Just I see your pockets empty. <laughs> yeah, another question, please. Yeah. Um, what do you see for my uh, love uh, life? Um, isn't there a person in your energy field now? There's someone around you right now. So is there a person with you? Not right now. Okay, but is there a person? Was there someone around you? Yes. Yeah, so that person hasn't left yet. So either you need to kick him out or kick her out, or you need to bring them back. So you have to decide what you want. So is it a good thing to, to kick out or to keep him? <laughs> yeah, well, don't kick anybody because that, you know, we could get into jail for that. But um, certainly I think you need to go on your trip. Go on your trip alone and yeah. come back and decide. Your, your trip will help you decide. My sense is this person hasn't left you, like hasn't left your field. That's why I could track him. I could sense his presence. So my sense is, you know, um, you haven't made a decision yet or he hasn't made a decision yet. So you're yeah. still involved. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good, good luck. And, 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 you know, say hi to Mother Africa for us. Thank you very much. All right, Deca. <laughs> Bye-bye. All right. We've got, I think, time for one more. We're going to sneak one in. Anu, last, last of the day. How can we help you tonight? Hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi. Um, this question is about my sister's life. Okay. Um, my, my brother-in-law, he's addicted to alcohol. Okay. And he's not accepting to go to any rehabilitation yep. uh, or anything else. Yeah. And do you see any changes in their life? Like he's mentally becoming sick too. And uh, yeah, I really I want him to get this. Uh, yeah. So the only thing you can do for him, so I got the healing card, Anu, and the serenity card. So understand right now you have to be at peace with his free will um, and that his pain and his addiction is greater than, your, than his desire to be well. My <laughs> sense is the only thing you can do is pray whatever your tradition will allow you is ask Archangel Michael to cut the negativity from his life 
ask father and mother, you know, to, to, to support him. Um, I just don't see it changing anytime soon. All right, so we'll send him angels, we'll send you angels, but if you send me an email, I will send you a healing prayer we use for addicted people. Okay. All right, thanks for your call. Again, we've got to go. Uh, everyone who didn't get a call tonight or an answer tonight, please call us back next week. This number to call is 728-1001. We're here every Tuesday. Vanya, I can't even explain how grateful I am for your, for your risk, for your courage to be on TV, Thank to you. share your knowledge, because again, not everyone understands what we do or what you did. I do. I appreciate it. Namaste. Again, you. we've got your giveaway to give out. Uh, make sure that you call. Oops, I understand. <laughs> uh, make sure you guys call in 759-8622 for this. And uh, people can find you at luminousmountain.com and on Facebook. Yes. We'll have you back for sure. We'll recap this. Again, everyone thank who you, called in tonight, you. thank you so much for your time and energy and allowing me to push the subject matter today. And again, my uh, angel night is on Wednesday, March 18th, right before the big solar eclipse and equinox. Hope to see you all out at Barhaven at the Prince of Wales Manor. You can go to my website, jenniferclark.ca. My gosh, I'm going to take a breath now. I'm going to go home, <laughs> have some water, a salt bath. Thank you very much. Stay tuned with more here on Community uh, Television here on Rogers.